Alex, how do I use professional audio gear with my Canon 5D Mark II? If you've seen my 5D film school, you know that I'm a big fan of using field mixers for DSLR video production. There are a few reasons for this. First of all, you have to understand that the audio signal that comes out of a microphone is very low. It's a low voltage, which means it has to be amplified. If you let the camera amplify it, the preamps inside the camera are not very good. They will add hiss and noise to your signal, which makes it sound bad. The preamps inside a field mixer, and this Asden is by far the quietest and the best field mixer I've found for the money anywhere. And I've got a link to that on the 5dfilmmaking.com recommended gear page. The preamps inside a mixer like this one are going to amplify your signal, adding hardly any noise or hiss to it at all. So you're going to have better audio. Secondly, because a mixer accepts multiple inputs, this one, for example, has four inputs, you could mix multiple audio sources. What if you had three lavalier mics and one boom mic? Well, you could put all your lavalier mics into one channel, say left channel, put your boom mic in the right channel, mix them as the levels indicated, and then in post, you could figure out which sounded better and use that track. Finally, a mixer allows you to adapt to changing conditions on the fly. Whether you're shooting a wedding or an independent film, you're not going to be dealing with the same level of volume the whole time. And because you can control the levels of each input on the fly and see what you're doing with the meters, you're in a much better position to get good audio consistently than with any other means. Now, out of the box, the Canon 5D Mark II has automatic gain control functionality that tries to adjust the signal to keep it at a good volume all the time. The problem is it doesn't work very well, first of all, and secondly, as I mentioned earlier, it's noisy, adds a lot of hiss to the signal. Fortunately, a genius named Trammell Hudson invented a uh, firmware update called Magic Lantern that allows us to have complete control of the audio functions in the camera. Here's how it works. First, you download the Magic Lantern firmware files for free from magiclantern.wiki.com. Then you copy the files to the root directory of all the CF cards you're going to be using. Once the card is in the camera, you go into the menu and tell it to update the firmware. When it does that, it goes into live view mode. Press the Scene Settings button, and the Magic Lantern menu pops up. As you can see here, AGC has now been disabled. That's step one. Now step two is to plug your mixer into your camera. You can do that either with a string of adapters like this, or you can get a nice little custom cable like this one. I say custom, but you can order it. Again, go to the recommended gear page on 5dfilmmaking.com. You plug your XLRs into the outputs of the mixer. Plug your mini jack into the microphone input on the 5D, and we're all set. The only thing we have to do now is to get the levels inside the camera set to the same level as the output of the mixer. It's much simpler than it sounds. To do that, we use 1 kilohertz 1K tone. And you can see there that this generates a tone at the zero level on the mixer. Now all we do is go into the camera, Take a look at the little volume display from Magic Lantern. What you want is to get your tone hitting just about the midway point here. That'll give you a nice full signal while still allowing you some headroom for the occasional loud noise. As you can see here, Magic Lantern gives us the option of using analog gain, which applies to both channels, or digital gain for individual channels. I did a little test to see which gave cleaner sound. Theoretically, you'd think digital would be cleaner, but when I ran an empty signal to the camera, and maxed out each type of gain. Digital generated twice as much noise as analog. Once you do get your gain set, you want to click over and save your configuration so that you don't have to reset it every time you turn your camera on and off. And that's it. Once your camera is calibrated to your mixer, all you have to do is adjust your knobs to keep your levels jumping right around zero. Now another huge advantage of Magic Lantern is that it allows you to plug your headphones into the AV jack on your camera so you can actually hear the audio that you're capturing, which is always a pretty smart thing to do. There's a reason that every professional production from national news to Hollywood 
uses some kind of field mixer. Now you can too, thanks to Magic Lantern and a couple of little adapters. I hope this has been helpful. If you have a question for me, send it to the address on your screen. And if you want to see more videos, check out 5dfilmmaking.com. See you next time.